Okay, so I just got done watching Setup, which is a 2011 action film starring 50 Cent. And Bruce Willis is in amongst the movie. You know, he kind of comes and goes. He has a very minimal part in the film. He's in the movie for about eight minutes. But even I think that's being kind. I would say more six to seven minutes he's in this movie for. He has about maybe four scenes in the entire movie. And this movie is, how long even is this movie? 81 minutes. So, yeah, his scenes are only about maybe a minute long. Two minutes at max. And if you compare that to the rest of the movie, that's a very small momentum of the rest of the film. But, you know, Bruce Willis, you know, this is a younger Bruce Willis. I believe this was before he was diagnosed with aphasia. Um, and so one thing I can give this movie that I wouldn't give to other Bruce Willis films is his acting in this movie is at least decent. His performance is watchable. His delivery is good. There's a few one-liners that he has in this film that, that were kind of funny. Um, there was actually, yeah, there was effort um, put in on old Brucey's side. There's a really cool uh, interrogation scene, which I thought was one of the best scenes in the entire film. Um, but what can I say about this movie aside from it starring Bruce Willis? Um, I haven't seen 50 Cent act in many films, so I don't know how he is as an actor. But as from what I saw of him in this movie, he plays the main character in this movie. And I thought he does a really good job uh, carrying the role of the main lead in this film. I thought his performance was watchable. Um, I was on his character's side for the entire movie. Um, and yeah, like, I, I thought he was one of the best parts of the movie. Um, I feel like, you know, being the main lead, I feel like, you know, he has to have that kind of likeable personality. He has to have charisma. He has to have a story that the audience can get behind. And I feel like, you know, all of that, you know, you can see where his morals are at. You can see where, uh, you can see where his motives are at um, in this film. But you, you can also say the same about the character of Vince in this movie, which is betrayed by Ryan uh, Filippini. I feel like I've pronounced his name wrong. One thing you should know about my channel, can't pronounce names worth shit. So, yeah. But, um, you know, the character of Vince, um, you know, I feel like he's a... He's, I feel like, a bittersweet guy uh, in this film, I'd say. Um, as much as he's a bad guy, you know, there's... Parts to his character where you can 100% see where he's coming from and you can see why what he did at the start of this film uh, to 50 Cent's uh, character. But at the same time, you know, was it really worth it? Was it really worth kind of breaking up that friendship? Because this is a friend group that have been together since high school. They have known each other. They have grown up with each other. And then, yeah, just one day... Uh, you know, his father gets, you know, tossed in prison and, um, yeah, and all this other stuff, you know, unfolds with Vince's character. And, you know, on one end, you can kind of see where his character is coming from. But then on the other hand, the, the guy is an evil son of a bitch. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, and I think... That's, to me, what makes a good villain is there's that humanized... Well, not even humanized, it's just, just like you can, you can see where he's coming from. You can get on his side if you're, if you're thinking about the, the consequences that his actions could lead to. And so, yeah, no, I, I thought, you know, Vince, as much as he's not really a, de a very well-developed villain, I thought, as far as on-screen presence go, I thought, I thought, you know, Vince was a likeable enough villain for a movie of this scale. Um, the action in this movie, there's not a lot. There's maybe two action sequences I can maybe think of. There's the one at the beginning. There's the whole, you know, um, 
like you know like street uh, massacre scene um and then there's one at the end involving bruce willis um the which leads to a chase uh sequence and you know these were fine i wouldn't say any of them you know are masterpieces i wouldn't say any of them are really outstanding i mean i wouldn't say they were even tense at all i mean it's the way I would put the action in this film is it's action that when you're watching the movie, it's entertaining, but you're not going to reflect back on the action and be like, oh, that is some of the best action I've seen in a movie. But, you know, for what it was, it was pretty meh in this movie. Uh, the direction and the story is really good in this movie. It's a very very gripping story even though there are a variety of other films that have this exact same story as what set up does um you know like the film kept me entertained it kept me immersed in what was happening i was always invested in where this story was going to go the ending was a bit disappointing um and there's still a lot of questions that are unanswered um yeah, the ending I thought could have maybe left on a better note, but yeah, you know, because the ending I can see leading to a sequel if they did want to do a sequel to this movie, just the way it ends and some of the uh, sub-stories that weren't quite tied up, that weren't quite finished, I can see them making a sequel out of it. But it's now 2022, so I don't think a sequel to set up is going to happen. But, you know, yeah, this movie was fine. Um, I enjoyed it enough. So, yeah, I'd say check it out.